Hey guys, welcome back to Jurassic Collectible. So we have a ton of 2017 Papo figures on the way, but in the meantime, let's take a closer look at this. It's the 2016 Capra Sucus. You can get yours at everythingdinosaur.com. Links are in the description. So this one's been heavily requested by the fans, and uh, we finally got around to picking this guy up for review. So let's break him out of his packaging. Very exciting. Now, the name Caprasuchus actually means boar crocodile, and it gets its name from its long teeth at the front of its skull. And actually, the skull were the only remains found of this guy. It was found in West Africa, and they found a nearly complete skull. And comparing it with modern day crocodiles gives us the rest of its anatomy. A really cool looking model from Papo, super detailed, and a really lovely paint scheme as well, and finish. This is definitely one you want to pick up if you don't have him already. So let's take a closer look at this guy, starting off with the head sculpt. You can see how much detail Papo has packed into this guy. And probably one of the coolest features is the fact that the jaw is articulated and opens upwards like this, just like a modern day crocodile. I think that detail is beautiful. It's a really lovely feature for this figure. And you can imagine it just lying there, submerged in the water. And you can actually reenact that if you wanted to, and have the jaw opening wide. Really cool, lovely detail inside the mouth there. And just a beautiful paint job. So many washes going into this thing. Just such a lovely blend of naturalistic colors. You can see there's a dark wash bringing out all that scaling detail. Lovely broad scales mixed with finer, more detailed scales. You can see the lovely detail there on the foot. Nice painted toe claws. Very, very nice. And you can see all those lovely armored scales going along the back. Really lovely. Detail on this thing is absolutely incredible. And it's obvious that Papo have really looked at lots of reference, modern day crocodiles to bring us something that looks so realistic. Just love the detail on this guy. And then as we go into the tail, again you've got these lovely armoured scales running along the spine. Beautiful naturalistic form. Great anatomy. Just looks fantastic. So if you're a fan of crocodiles, Definitely want to pick this guy up. He's fantastic. Nice shape of the musculature there underneath the lizard skin. Really gorgeous. Nice contrasting pose as well with the back leg forward and the other one back. A nice feeling of the fingers sort of peeling off the ground as well, which gives it this sense of movement. Really beautiful. So just how big is this guy? You're looking at about nine inches long, which in centimeters, you're looking at about 22, 23 centimeters. And in terms of height, you're looking at about four inches, four and a half inches tall, which in centimeters, you're looking at about 10, 11 centimeters. Okay, size comparison time. Let's bring in the 124th Horizon Recast Tyrannosaurus Rex. This guy looks gorgeous. You can see he's sizable but still the Caprasuchus is pretty large. Next, let's bring in the recently reviewed Schleich Barapasaurus. Links down below if you haven't seen this video. You can see just how big the Caprasuchus is and how detailed it is for its size. Watch out there, Barapasaurus. And last but not least, here's Off Color Alan. Hopefully he doesn't suffer a similar fate. Stand still, Alan. His vision acuity is based on movement. Thanks, Alan. There he goes. He's leaving the review table. So there we have it, guys. That was today's look at the Papo Caprasuchus. A must for any Papo collector. I love the fact that the jaw is so well articulated and so accurate to modern day crocodiles. I think this thing is beautiful. If you haven't picked it up, make sure you do already. You can get yours at everythingdinosaur.com. Link is down below. In the meantime, guys, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.